My name is Dr. Stephen L. Mullins. I'm a 1980 graduate of Auburn University School of Veterinary Medicine. I've been in equine practice since 1980. I've been a member of the AAP since 1980, maybe even since 1978 uh, while I was still a student. I was a head of show from 2009 to 2012 at Show HIO. I was trained by the USDA uh, to, uh, to be a DQP and to train my other DQPs. Here we see a VMO inspecting a horse. She's checking the posterior part of the foot. You can see right here, she's using the end of her thumb. She's not using the meaty part of her thumb like the Horse Protection Act regulations say to use. You can see her right here, she'll use the end of her thumb and press down against the collateral cartilage and she's hitting the posterior branch of the palmar digital nerve. She's using the end of her thumb, which is not the proper technique to palpate a horse. It's a false positive. Immediately after she inspected, they walked out of the warm-up area into this outside arena. I'm going to inspect this horse with the proper technique, and then I'm going to see if I can get this horse moving by hitting that same nerve. Here we're palpating his tendons. We're on the posterior part of the foot. I'm using the flat, fat part of my thumb. Here we are beating on his feet. You can't make him move, but if I grab that nerve, he's going to move every time. Here we're going to go to the right front foot. We're going to palpate him the correct way, using the flat part of our thumb. We're going to hit pretty hard. He's not going to react. There's the front part of the foot being palpated correctly with the flat part of your thumb. We'll go back and watch her do it again, where she gets her false positive. If you'll watch her when she pushes that nerve up against that collateral cartilage, that horse is going to react. Get in zoomed in closer. There she's hitting it again. That's a very vascular area with two different nerves in there. She's going to use the end of her thumb to get him moving. Has nothing to do with any improper soaring techniques. It's improper palpation techniques. She's getting a bunch of false positives by doing that. You can't do that without getting a response.